Today we're making tomato ketchup. Come on in and welcome to my home. Today is such a fun thing because I was never a real ketchup lover until recently. Normally I just had it on my sandwiches, but now I actually use it on french fries and other things and there are so many different things you can do with ketchup. So let's get started with this. It's really easy. It just takes some ingredients. Now none of these are anything which you probably don't already have. All right, so I am starting off with two tablespoons of olive oil. And then all the ingredients are listed below. And then I have my cloves. I'm going to take those over to my stove and then we are going to cook them. What's going to happen is I'm going to bring them up till the oil starts bubbling and then I'm going to uh, cook it for about five minutes. Then after that five minutes, I'm going to cover it and let it steep for another five minutes. Once that's done, we'll strain it or actually we'll just remove the uh, cloves from the pan and we'll keep going. Our clove and oil has steeped now for about five minutes. I'm going to strain it. I've strained our clove oil. Now I'm going to put it back into the pan. Wow, you can really smell the clove in that. Add one chopped onion. I'm going to return this to the heat and then cook this until the onions are nice and sort of soft. And that'll be about, I would say, five to seven minutes. Our tomato and onion mixture is done. So now, what I'm going to do, just simply because it is still pretty hot, I'm going to take one can of our tomatoes, put that in the blender and just pulse it a couple times. I'm going to add our tomato mixture, our tomato and onion mixture. And this keeps from the uh, blender having a really, really hot mixture put into it. We're going to blend this until it's smooth. I'm doing mine in batches simply because my blender can only hold so much. I'm going to pour this into my crock pot, then do another batch. Now, here's what's cool about the second batch. I'm also going to add my sugar, and I'm just using raw sugar, but this will help get the sugar mixed up in there. Pour this into my crock pot. Yes, I'm going to stir this around so that everything gets mixed up well, and I will add my vinegar. Let me clean up the area just a bit now. I'm going to add in a big, healthy pinch of sea salt. And now this is something which I had no idea about until after I'd made this like several times. I'm just using a tea ball. If you don't have a tea ball, you can just wrap this in muslin. And I'm putting my spices, my peppercorns, my uh, mustard seeds, allspice, my broken up cinnamon stick, and my bay leaves. Now, I had to use three bay leaves because mine were pretty small. If you have, uh, you have normal-sized bay leaves, just go ahead and just use the recommended two. I will close that up and smell it because it smells really good. Then I'm going to drop this in there. Make sure it gets really soaked in. Now the cool part. I'm going to let this simmer and cook for about three to four hours until it gets nice and thickened. Once it's nice and thickened, I'm going to let it cool because this is when the good part comes in. So let's get this all cooking for about three to four hours. All right, this is now cooked for about three and a half hours. And I'm going to take my tea ball. Ooh, you can smell that, that smells really good. Now, I have a fine wire mesh sieve, and I'm going to <laughs> very carefully move that over, and then just strain this through the sieve. Yes, it was slightly a mess getting this in there, but let's taste it. Now, if you want a thicker, if you want a thicker ketchup, you can uh, actually cook it down longer. It's up to you. You can add salt and pepper to this to taste. That's a really nice ketchup. Um, I'm actually sort of surprised by this because I am not, I've, like I said, I was not the biggest ketchup fan before, but now that I like ketchup, I like my ketchup on french fries. This really is the kind of ketchup that I would use all the time. 
It was really easy to make, slightly a mess when I tried to put it in this container, but that was because I was doing it up here rather than at my sink, which I would normally do, so then there would be no mess. Cooking it in the crock pot did take a little bit longer if you do it on the stove. You could use it on your stove top. Just make sure to stir it every once in a while. It goes really, really good. Um, this is amazingly good. You can make this for your next um, picnic or whenever you want fries or something. This is a really good uh, ketchup. I'm really surprised at how well it came out. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I really like this one. I hope you make it too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.